So I have a new clay here that I'm going to be trying. So I've been using um, like a red clay uh, from Georgie's and um, I really like it and it's one of my favorite clays to throw with. However, it's getting very... Uh, it's increasing in price a lot, let's put it that way. And so um, I just grabbed this clay, which is hard to pick up on the camera, but it's definitely more brown as far as like the basic form of it is before it's been fired and stuff. It's definitely more brown than the clay that I have been using, um, but it's also a lot cheaper and it's supposed to fire red. So I figured we'll throw some, we'll see how it holds up to the sodium silicate and see you know how it holds up to my glazes and see if it is a viable alternative or if not alternative because I don't know that I'll ever stop using um, my red clay just because I love it so much um, but if I could maybe just use the red clay and have those pieces be more expensive or have less of them um, and not spend as much money on the red clay and this kind of be an alternative cheaper alternative for me um, that would be awesome but first we got to test it and see whether or not it holds up and whether or not it actually turns the red color that I'm looking for um, so yeah that's what we're going to be doing everybody so this is probably a couple of days later um I admit the editing is gonna be a little harder with this one because I <laughs> took so long in recording the how I'm gonna change my content video like it took me a long time to figure out the words and how to do it so I didn't upload for a couple weeks trying to figure it out and yeah so now this this vlog is probably gonna be all over the place but anyways we're not gonna show you that half of my garage because I am currently going through <laughs> and cleaning and figuring out what needs to go to the dump and Goodwill and um which is also part of the reason why I haven't been uploading videos um but anyways hi everybody I am going to be working in the studio today um I have stuff I want to get done for the Ren Fair so the Ren Fair is the next big show I'm doing the last show that I'm doing for 2023 so yeah I just I just gotta get a bunch of work done for that um, I need to do some throwing today because I actually don't have any lower cost like white clay items um, so usually my stuff that has like the gold and the stuff that I hand sculpted and put several different glazes on that stuff goes for quite a bit higher price um, but I did want to include stuff that's like at a lower price, that's not as expensive, but you know, not as much done to it, you know. And so, yeah, I need to get some of that stuff done. And I also need a lot more bump cups because I sell a lot of bump cups. <laughs> that seems to be, you know, it's really funny because I've been doing this for five years. And every year is a little different on what's popular and what's not popular. Sometimes, you know, like 
my dragon egg mugs they usually tend to be pretty popular most of the time um, I usually end up selling those quite a bit and not really having any by the end of the year um, but like like last year it was like a lot of octopus mugs and things like that those sold really well um, this year it's just bump cups. I'm just selling a ton of bump cups and I think mostly that's because it is at a lower price point so people who want pottery but don't really have the money to spend you know fifty sixty dollars on a really pretty well you know well sculpted lustered you know mug you know they can pick up a bump cup for a lot cheaper than that because um, you know I don't have to put handles on them and I don't have to do carving I don't have to do any of the processes I normally do um, I do charge a little bit more for like the bubbles and stuff just because that uses a lot more resources and materials than some of my other stuff. They've been selling like crazy this year so I definitely need to make a lot more of those because even if they don't sell at the Ren Faire, um, sometimes it's kind of weird from show to show to show different things will sell. Um, but I did end up selling out of a lot of my bump cups when I did the show in June. Uh, the Manito Art Show. Um, I sold a lot of bump cups for that and I didn't really have any left. Um, so I would really want to make sure that I have quite a bit just in case and then also whatever doesn't sell can just go to from here and I have been consistently selling all of my bump cups at from here. That is like the one thing that they sell a lot of. Um, <laughs> Um, that's like my best selling item in their store is basically my bump cups. Usually it's like, you know, the purples and, um, kind of my, um, I call it my fairy lichen glaze. Um, but it's like a purple. And this, this glaze has been selling like crazy, um, on bump cups. I haven't really sold my mugs like this, but my bump cups that have this glaze sell like crazy. So. I definitely will be doing a bunch more bump cups to put this glaze on. Probably make some more bubble bump cups. Um, just with it getting in the cooler months, like once November hits, it's it's cold. We usually get snow. It's yeah, because um, it, I live in the north. Um, it just gets crazy cold uh, by November, and so the bu the bubble bump cups do not happen. Um, when it's too cold outside because I, I need the sun, I need them to dry out, I need to be able to blow them and make a big mess and be able you know, and get the hose in here and all that jazz. Anyways, the process is such that I don't usually make my red clay mugs and I don't usually make my bump cups. So that's, that's why you've been seeing a lot of me doing the red and like the darker clays and I'm going to be doing a lot of like bump cups and things like that with the bubbles um, just because yeah, once November hits, I'm not going to be able to make any of that. So yeah, so we're going to be throwing a ton of bump cups and probably just some regular mugs like this um, or like, you know, squattier, chunkier mugs. I do I do like my chunky mugs. Um, so, and I have the Ren Faire coming up and I only really have, I only really have like three weeks, which sounds like a lot, but not in pottery. Um. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I definitely have to get the mugs thrown because they're not going to get done if I don't throw them today and definitely do some bump cups. Those ones I can usually get done in two weeks. If I push it, I can get my bump cups done in two weeks. That's what we're doing. Oh, and I will show you, um, really quick what I did manage to get done today that I didn't film and I'll show you all the stuff I have trimmed and kind of what's on my drying rack to be bisked within the next week or two um yeah all right so here's what we have so the new brown clay i'm trying actually dries orange it's the weirdest thing but those are actually really ready to be bisked it goes from like that color to that color <laughs> um so yeah so I've got like that new brown clay I'm working on. I've got a lot of pieces of that. And then I also have my red clay. So I've got some more of these. And they've got handles. And we're just, yeah, we're just going to let them dry and see how the handles do. And hopefully they'll be ready to bisque later this week. But for today, we're, we're going to be doing the white. That's, that's, that's today's job.
So I wanted to show you these. Um, they still need to dry a little bit, so I'm not going to be able to glaze them and fire them and see whether or not they turn out red by the end of this vlog. So I apologize, but it'll be in the next one. Um, but I did actually put like an underglaze wash on them. So um, I just watered down underglaze and then kind of wiped it back. And so it kind of just leaves color. You can see it really well on this one. It leaves the color like in the cracks and stuff and kind of creates one texture and kind of adds to the piece. So I've done a couple pieces with orange and blue and this one. This one is purple and then I've done a couple with blue too. So that one's blue and that one's blue. So once those are dry, we'll glaze them and put them in the kiln and then we'll see. We'll see if these orangey brown clay mugs uh, come out you know the right kind of red like like these like my normal red clay does so some white clay mugs drying so I'm still not sure if they'll get done in time because the Ren Fair is about a week away um, so you know, it's not this Friday, but the next Friday is when I have the Ren Fair and I need to start setting up for it. Um, the Ren Fair is actually Saturday and Sunday, but they let you come early to like set up your booths and stuff, which I need to do because I'm going to be taking this kick wheel to the Ren Fair and going to be doing demos on a kick wheel. Um, it won't have electricity or anything. I'm just going to be sitting on that thing. Wearing renaissance garb and making some mugs by kicking a wheel really fast, so. I want to talk about um, writing because <laughs> um, I do want to include it and um, so it's going to take me a little bit to figure out how to um, you know, make the videos so that they work with having the writing and the pottery in it. Um, so bear with me on that. But I did want to talk a little bit about my writing projects and what I'm kind of trying to get done um, and what I hope to like get published, things like that. Um, so really quick, I am self-publishing. Um, and of course, if you've watched my changing my content video, you know why. It's because I really want to... Um, put my novels and books with my pottery and want to make pottery based off of my um, my own books too along with you know the classics and the awesome fantasy books I also um, plan on having like pottery collections based off of my own work and in order to be able to sell my books with my pottery um, I have to self publish so that I own all the rights um, so that is why I am self publishing um, and yeah, just so that I can have the rights to the book and be able to do both the, you know, making the mugs and the books and selling them together and stuff as like collections. Um, that's kind of like the big main plan. Um, so as far as the books that I'm writing or I'm trying to get done, um, I am trying to finish book one of a series that I'm writing. Um, I've rewritten it about four or five times. So this is kind of like the fourth or fifth um, first draft, I guess. Um, but that's just kind of how I do it. I think, I, you know, I kind of do that with pottery too. I make a bunch of pieces and then figure out what works and doesn't work. I'm a kinetic learner, so I have to do to, to understand and to learn. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I've kind of done. Um, my goal is, is to get this draft, um, this rough draft completely done, uh, by the end of the year. Um, I'm hoping to actually get it done by the end of October um, because in November there is an event called uh, National Novel Writing Month where you try to write 50,000 words in November. And I'm hoping that if I get the first book done by October, I can write the second book in during November and then I'll have at least two books that need to be edited and stuff and then I'm also working on an anthology so if you've bought any of my story collection mugs um, a lot of them came with poems or short stories or things like that um, that kind of inspired me or kind of explained the inspiration behind the, the pottery that I made um, or you know it's just kind of like a little poem or something that has to do with the book that I made the story the 
that I made the pottery based off of. And so my hope is to kind of to combine the short stories and poems and things I've written throughout doing these story collections and stuff um, and kind of just put them all in one book, like an anthology. And it kind of just be a collection of all of those all that writing that I've done. Um, now the tricky part here is is that I actually, with the hard drive writing, I actually lost um, about two years worth of work. Um, and so there are poems and short stories I don't have. Um, so I have like posted on my Instagram and stuff like, if you've bought anything for me and you got a poem or short story, please email it to me. Um, and I, I mean, I might not get all of them, but my hope is to try to get as many as I can and kind of combine them all and put them in an anthology. And so I plan on trying to have the first book and the anthology published next year. That's kind of the plan. And then, um, you know, being set for editing the second and, you know, having that ready to go probably by like the end of next year. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if I do that, then I can. The anthology I'm probably just going to publish by itself. Um, I'm not going to worry about making a story collection for that because, because I already made story collections for those. But, um, the first book I do actually want to make a pottery story collection you know, mugs and everything based off of that book and then release them together. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. If I'm going to do like a Kickstarter um, and kind of do it that way so, you know, people can get like the, you know, the mug that they want with the, um, you know, with the book, whatever version, you know, if they want an ebook or a hardback or whatever, that way they can have it all together, kind of pick and choose what they want. Um, it's just a thought. I'm kind of running through my head. I'm not sure if I'll do a Kickstarter or not, but that was kind of my thought behind it. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of where I'm going with this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you at the Red Fair. Bye!